Hello, and welcome to Zenata Consulting and the CRM Zen Show's Beginners Series. Uh, this month, we're going to be covering Zoho Books. I am Brett Martin. And I'm Tyler Colt. Let's get right on into it. So for our first little beginner series here, we're going to start with banking. When you first go into Zoho Books, everything is blank. And when you click uh, on the banking tab here, you'll end up with a petty cash and undeposited funds. Those are the two stock accounts that are set up when you are doing your banking. But in order to make it useful, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect your banking accounts directly to Zoho Books. This is automatically going to pull in all of your transactions for you, allow you to easily reconcile those. So first thing we're going to do here is up at the top, it says add bank or credit card. And when you click on that, it's going to bring in all of the big banks. But if you had a bank that you didn't know, let's say, you know, one of them uh, that a lot of people in the Midwest have is uh, Fifth Third. So if you were to go ahead and type in uh, Fifth Third, you'll see that uh, a lot of those banks start to come up. And you have to be careful. They'll be for credit cards and all different versions and commercial. You really want to choose the right bank directly for you. In this case, I'm going to go with a big one. Bank of America. And then the first thing this is going to ask you to do is to go ahead and enter your online ID and passcode. You'll have to put your passcode in twice so you can enter your password there. And if you want to make sure you're putting in the right password, you can just go ahead and click these eyes and then that will go ahead and do it. So I'm going to enter that password now. All right. And once you've gone ahead and entered your password and hit continue, you may get a challenge screen like this. And what this is basically going to do is going to make sure this kind of, you oftentimes see this when you log into your bank, they want to send you a text message, they want to call you, and they want to actually verify that uh, who it is who's putting this information in. They also give you a little timer here. So you've got plenty of time, five, six minutes. So I'm actually going to have this go ahead and send a text message to this phone number. And when that comes in, you'll want to check your phone and on your phone, you will actually see the, uh, the code that they're going to give you. And you go ahead and put that in and hit continue. Now, this is a multi-step process. So it's going to say, hey, this is going to take a little while. Actually, it'll say, hold on, this might not take too long. That's some perfect English for you there. <laughs> and <laughs> after a little while, it's going to say it's done. Now, it's really not because what you're going to see in a minute is once this is done communicating with the bank, it basically takes you back to this screen and you'll notice that Bank of America isn't here. So when you do this, it could take actually several minutes for that bank account to, to appear and it won't actually appear here. You actually have to go back to add bank credit card and you need to click on the Bank of America in this case again. And if you get this online ID passcode, you realize, well, not enough time has gone by uh, and you'll just need to keep waiting. Like I said, usually this takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes and then that bank account will appear. Okay, so it's been about uh, actually 10 minutes almost, and uh, the account finally appeared. So here's what's going to happen. It's not going to appear here. You're actually going to want to click on add bank or credit card and then go back and click on the bank again. And now all of your various accounts are going to show up here. So uh, in this case, you can see there's a checking and another checking and a savings account. So there are three accounts associated with this. I'll just go ahead and I'll choose just this one account. Uh, this is kind of important. Sometimes you've got, you know, business accounts. Maybe you want things going into another, uh, another set of books. So you might not always want to bring in all of your various accounts. So in this case, that's really a nice feature here of, of Zoho Books is it gives you, lets you choose which accounts you want to bring in. You also think can go back all the way 90 days. So we're actually recording this on April 7th. So it's letting us go back all the way to January 7th. You don't have to go back 90 days, though. Maybe you just wanted to start your books at the beginning of April. You can say, hey, just bring in all of my transactions from April 1st, 2021. That's pretty much all there is to it. You're going to hit continue again. Uh, and now if we go back and we look at the banking overview, you'll see that you have that bank added and it's actually pulled in the amount that is sitting in that bank account. 
So if you now click into it, you can also see various credit card charges that have been associated with that bank account. Now, when you're doing this, you may actually, one more thing you'll want to do on these accounts is after you've gone through and you've reconciled your transactions, which is a tutorial for another day, and you've got all this cleaned up, you might find that your uh, balances don't actually match up. And what should happen if you've got this perfect is that the amount in the bank and the amount in Zoho Books should match up up. So that's really the process. You want to add your credit cards in, you want to add your checking accounts in, any savings, anything associated with your business or whatever you're tracking in Zoho Books. I will tell you this one little tip on how to reconcile all of this. It's setting up your beginning balances. So you're going to want to go up to settings and then you're going to want to go to opening balances. And now that you've got this account in, you actually can go to bank and you can actually put either an overage or an underage amount in here to actually balance out this account because you're starting from a different date. Unless you've got this as a brand new account from the very beginning, you're going to go ahead and need to set these opening balances so that everything balances out in your books and you're looking at a, uh, a nice and balanced set of books, which everybody wants to have. We hope you've enjoyed this tip. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us over at info at Thanks for watching.